A uh, question that uh, that I get asked, um, and uh, something that I think is sort of near and dear to me because I'm a huge coffee drinker, uh, is uh, there are a linkage between coffee consumption and the risk of developing cancer. And fortunately for me and every other coffee drinker out there, it appears that that coffee is actually protective um, for a variety of different cancers in terms of cancer development. Um, we believe that it's actually the bioflavonoids, which are the phytonutrients that are within uh, coffee beans that actually are protective against cancer because they're antioxidative and they're anti-inflammatory, uh, two sort of key driving factors that can lead to DNA damage and then uh, potentially cancer growth. So it appears that you know, there's even a dose uh, correlation. So the more coffee you drink, the lower your risk of a variety of different cancers including things such as colon cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and a variety of others. So, uh, you know, good news for coffee drinkers out there. Uh, this is, you know, data that, uh, you know, we don't have randomized controlled trial data on this. These are population-based study data, which have a variety of, of limitations. But in general, it appears that at least it's not harmful uh, in terms of the risk of developing cancer. can keep you up at night, and uh, of course, that's not a good thing, but uh, in terms of its risk of cancer, it's, it does not appear to increase that risk. Do you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? Now there's a way to decide if chemotherapy will benefit you based on the unique biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX test and how to discuss it with your doctor, Click this button.